dying, Kim. Can't see a thing. So it's like not even six o'clock right now. It's very, very early. And we've arrived to Kawaguchiko, Lake Kawaguchiko, one of my favorite spots in Japan, if not my most favorite spot in Japan. Uh, it's the sunrise, and we're currently in a bunch of low cloud. Can't see a thing. Mount Fuji is supposed to be there somewhere. But this cloud should be dissipating very soon, hopefully, fingers crossed. Otherwise, we're gonna have a bit of a moody morning. Check this out. Oh my God. Look at this footage. So good. Look at it, so good. Look at all this low fog. Look at it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Optimal conditions for droning. Not too optimal conditions for photographs, but that's okay. But look at this. Oh my God. Look at it, look at it. So while I'm happily droning away right now, everyone else is uh, chilling over there. I feel sorry for them. I dragged them along to this very, very early sunrise. And it's very, very cold. It's like zero degrees Celsius right now. Right now it's so foggy. Can't see a thing, unfortunately. Uh, but the drone shots look great, at least, I guess. But yeah, as you can see, Fuji's supposed to be up there somewhere. And uh, it's nowhere to be found right now. So we just have to wait a little bit. I think as soon as the sun starts to come over the mountains, which will be over on that side, all of this fog should evaporate very soon. So hopefully uh, that happens. In the meantime, we're just kind of chilling here under this nice tree, waiting for the sun to pop out and waiting for a good time to shoot. The sun's popping through. The sun's popping through. getting worse the, the time is what's the time it is 7 18 7 20 how long have we been waiting for about an hour mm. one hour it's getting worse yeah it's a bit thick it's all right it'll come it'll come eventually tomorrow? just just <laughs> when <laughs> yeah tomorrow Time to go to the Kombini because we're not going to be able to see Mount Fuji anytime soon. This uh, fog is just a little bit too thick, so we're going to buy some warm food and some warm drinks. Get warm and then come back and see whether or not the great mountain is visible. Fingers crossed. Wow, it's pretty. Very pretty, but very busy. Reached the Momiji Corridor. We've uh, decided to come here just really, really quickly in between waiting for the fog to rise and uh, warming up at the Kombini. The Momiji Corridor is popping at the moment. It looks so nice. What's up? Hello. 
Hello. Ooh, there he is. The mountain. Hello. We keep trying to go to the Combini and then return back to that spot and just get some hot stuff, but we keep <laughs> stopping at like every spot. There's like two spots on the way to Combini. We haven't even made it to the Combini yet. But we were just driving past here and this is the classic spot that I usually go to. Um, but it just had a lot of fog, even though it's kind of like it's painted right now. We just thought we'd stop and see what it was like. Cool. Looky, looky here. Got some autumn leaves. Nice color. Oh, look at all this. Wow. These guys got the right idea, man. Fuji in the background. Oh, love to see it. So we got to this one location and although this spot is supposed to be the peak or it's supposed to be the peak right now for Kawaguchiko just in general this entire area is just kind of dead like all of this stuff right here is just dead except for this one tree behind me which everyone seems to be gathering around right now yeah that's the only nice tree left but managed to get some good shots um, got a couple of compositions. It looks really good. Finally made it to Convini. It was so cold this morning. Oh my god. Need to like recuperate with food and beverages, hot beverages. Aww. Honestly, it's only what 350 yen. Wow. Like four bucks for all of those? Yeah. Look at that. Femi chiki. My favorite. Mm. On our Kawaguchiko adventures, we are at a place called Oishi Park, and it's just a whole bunch of like really nice, I guess, gardens and floral decorations. And oh my god, the sun is so bright! <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to get any shots here just for now, just because the sun's really, really harsh. Um, but it's really nice. You can see all these like gorgeous flowers and uh, these gorgeous gardens, and it would be good if the sunlight was good. But um, now we're just exploring, just enjoying the sun because it's freaking cold uh, and just walking around, it's super nice. <laughs> He's like, these losers. Look at these guys. <laughs> Look at these guys, these losers. Look at these guys. Look at the setup going on. <laughs> these losers. <laughs> get, the, get the couple content, guys. The couple it's content. The couple channel. <laughs> <laughs> Next spot is this little side of the road spot over here. A lot of people here just taking a bunch of photos in the lovely colors. There's little spots as we're driving around Kawaguchiko Lake that we're stopping at. Uh, not every single part of the mountain, unfortunately, is in full max uh, foliage at the moment, but we're making the most of wherever we see and stopping wherever we can, so yeah. So bad. Looking so bad. time and there's already a line and it hasn't even opened up yet oh my goodness 
Hopefully it's good. This place is called Hoto Fudo. What a vibe. Wow. Wow. Look at all this steam. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. Last stop of the day, we are coming to a place called Churieto Pagoda. This is a place that I've been to many, many times before, but Kim and Eric, uh, my two friends that I'm traveling with right now, haven't been before. So, you know, we're in the area, and as you have to do when you're in this area, you have to come here. So, we actually came a little bit late, unfortunately, and there's like so much traffic uh, and no parking left so we had to park a, like I don't know a little bit far away um, there's only 40 minutes to sunset and a massive uh, flight of stairs several flights of stairs to go up and uh, yeah we're gonna have to race against the time a little bit for sunset for this one it's all right we'll uh, make the most of it and see what we can do is there a way where I can just go down Made it to Churieto Pagoda up to the top, but it's absolutely rammed right now. They made all these new like grandstands, and there's just so so many people. I've never seen it this packed before ever, and I've been here dozens of times, literally dozens of times. It's pretty crazy what the impact is like with all the tourists here now that the borders have opened, and you know it's nice. It's nice that people are here, but it is very crowded and definitely takes away from the experience just a little bit. Lighting up a little bit, but I don't think it'll come across. It is nice there. Look at that. Yeah, we didn't end up getting any light today, unfortunately, for sunset, but it's still nice. The good is always beautiful. All right. That's it, I'm gonna end it here. Unfortunately, we didn't get the sunset that we wanted. It was just a whole bunch of overcast and uh, no colors, unfortunately. Well, there was a little bit of color, but it wasn't that great, unfortunately. And there was a ton of people, it was so hard to move, but them's the breaks. Mother Nature does what it does and our tourists also do what they do. So it's all good, at least the rest of the day was pretty good. And we got some great, great rare super rare mount fuji footage with the drone this morning so super stoked about that overall a pretty pretty good day and you know kim and eric got to see this place for the very first time and yeah so that's it so i'm gonna end it here i hope you enjoyed the photos and i'll see you guys in the next video peace